Tasha in the morning. <laughs> so scary. So scary. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we never know how to start. <laughs> no, now you have to say that you're Kate. Oh, yeah, I'm Kate. And I'm Audrey. And, and this, this is Kate and Audrey. And Audrey. With Kate and Audrey. I forgot our own name. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, hi, I'm Kate. But I'm not Kate. <laughs> you're Kate. We have a very special guest. A today. super special guest for the Halloween special, too. Yeah. Yeah, you're on the Halloween special. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is Kate. And Kate. And Jack. <laughs> you know that if you listen to the last episode, if you made it, it through to, to the last episode, <laughs> the whole thing, you would know. Cadence is here. <laughs> Cadence, how are you doing today? I'm doing so good. It was a very restful day, yeah, so I'm excited yeah. for this. Okay. Well, in, in in podcast tradition, where are you from? I'm from the Yukon. I'm from Whitehorse, Yukon. That's so cool. Yeah. And what's your favorite color? Purple. Oh, that's a good favorite color. Hey, yeah. twins. So, that, yeah, you guys are both favorite. Yeah, those are both favorite color. <laughs> Um, so, Cadence, from our understanding, based on what you told us literally, like, four seconds before <laughs> this, you've been on radio shows before. Yeah, um, well, I do a lot of theater back at home, mm-hmm. um, and me, well, I helped start this, like, youth theater company back Ooh. in 2018, and it's now grown to be the biggest youth theater company in the Yukon. Oh, um, no, okay. Yeah, like, we have a real <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I see you. We okay. Have, like, a really big, nice theater um, oh, in the Yukon, and we're, like, the biggest sellers on it. Oh, um, that's We're called Yukon Theater for Young People. Oh, yeah. Plug it. Plug <laughs> it. Plug <laughs> it. Check them check, out. Go check yeah. out Yukon, Yukon Theater f- what? for Young People. Yukon Theater for Young People. Yeah. Um, Let's get a nice drink. So, so I'm often... Basically, when I was still in high school, I was the chair of the youth steering committee. Yeah. So I, like, brought up all of the youth feelings to the board, and I was also usually the one who was sent to the radio. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I do that's little so interviews wonderful. about our shows. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. This is so cool. Well... That, that's actually really cool. Well, <laughs> it was Halloween recently, Cadence. I don't know if you do this. <laughs> oh, I sure did. <laughs> so uh, what did you go as for Halloween? <laughs> um, the first night, I was Jigsaw from, oh. like, the Saw movies. Ooh, oh, that's good. And then the second night, I was Maleficent, and my friend Brooke was Aurora. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's so, so yeah, good. Yeah, it was really cute. That's really cute. Audrey, what were you for Halloween? <laughs> I went as a pirate. Ooh. And I went as a Loki variant. That one was fun. That one was fun. Today was going to go as a fairy, but then today was not a dress-up day. No. No. no um, really. Kate, what did you go as for Well, Halloween? you have to listen to the last episode <laughs> to find out, because I was the only person asked in that episode. <laughs> so, if you want to know what I was for Halloween, you gotta go back. You gotta go back and check it out. <laughs> go, but after this out. episode. After this episode. Finish first. this one, and then you go to the next one. But <laughs> circling back to the play, because Kate, you just triggered a memory that I forgot. <laughs> which was literally just last year, I was Scrooge in a radio play. Really? Which meant I had to talk. I didn't like, know this. Ebenezer Scrooge, because I forgot. <laughs> and, then, and then I had to sing, like, Ebenezer oh, Scrooge. Oh, my God. And it was really, it was an interesting... Can we get a little uh, yeah, Scrooge? I really want to hear I want to hear a little... I don't know if I can do it anymore. Can I want to, but I... Give us, give us, a, <laughs> give us a, in the streets with, say, in the streets with Kate and Audrey... I, it, as Ebony I don't screws. know that I can. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I this out. Like, all I remember is doing Bah Humbug a lot and, like, yeah. getting, like, almost yelled at because I wasn't doing it right. Um, and then also they edited everybody else's voices because, obviously, I didn't come off as super masculine because I couldn't do it. Um, so they made everybody else's voices higher, <laughs> <laughs> which was really funny and really bad for them. But it was, like, it was, like I just had to, like, talk like this and I was like my grandpa I was impersonating my grandpa because my grandpa's an old grouchy man sometimes we love him though but he, it was like bah humbug I did that <laughs> a lot and it strained my voice and it was many many hours but it's, well, it's great <laughs> I forgot about it though so I don't know how great it really was <laughs> shout out to my drama teacher <laughs> how does a radio play even work so we were okay it was a whole mess because covid was a thing, and we were like, okay, yeah. we gotta avoid crowds, so we're like, radio play, so basically, we were originally gonna do a live radio play, which would've been, like, everybody buys tickets, and they tune in at this time, and we're doing a live reading, and yeah. then, um, they were like, nah, that's, you guys aren't, you guys can't do that, that's not gonna go well, so then we did recording, so we recorded, like, scene by scene, and our librarian, the best librarian ever, <laughs> shout out to him, um, he'll be on the podcast one day. One day. We'd love it. Will we do the librarian episode? Exactly. He, like, edited our voices and, like, edited sound effects and, like, 
piece together a whole thing and then you could listen to it on YouTube. And I'm so sad because it doesn't exist anywhere on the internet. No. Like, and I understand why because they're like, we don't want anybody else to have this, but I want to have it. Yeah. I want to show people my my skills. Yeah. My Ebenezer Scrooging. And it's also <laughs> the first play at my school that I was in. Because really? I was like, I was technically in one before, but I was like just support because I couldn't make all the practices. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're like, here you go, you get to be the lead in this radio play. And I'm like, I've never done <laughs> wow. a radio play. And I've never been in this. But I did theater, like the, the yeah. class. Uh, and it was directed by the teacher, so I think she just liked me. So yeah. I won. <laughs> just winning. That's winning often what life. happens in high school theater. <laughs> yeah. Your director likes you? Oh, you get the part. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Off you go. At my school, I went to a really small school. We didn't have... The only reason a theater department was introduced was because I created enough interest for it because I... Because there was no theater production, so I had to do it myself. So I directed a theater production at my school, and that was really what? cool. And that is cool. Yeah. What so we, was it? We did... So, <laughs> originally, we were going to do Bang Bang, You're Dead, which <laughs> is an interesting... It's a, it's a, it's a really... It's a, it's a play. Um, <laughs> um, but then we were told that we couldn't do it because some parents complained because of the subject matter, which is oh. totally fair, I understand. Yeah. And so then we decided to scratch that because it, it was about murder. It was all sad. And so we said, scratch that. Let's do arsenic and old lace, which is also about murder, but it's funny murder. It's oh. murder, ha not murder, oh no. <laughs> um, but then a, a bunch of kids dropped out, and so we couldn't do arsenic and old lace. And so we changed it, that it was, uh, people did monologues and duologues, mm. and then we'd stitch them together and just be like a night of theater where people come in, and they'd do oh, their monologues and their cool. duologues. But then, COVID. Of course. <laughs> so um, even though we were in person for most of that year, because this was 2020, 2021, so we were in person for most of that yeah. year. But toward the end, we had a whole month off because it got really bad in Tunis. And so um, that was the month we were supposed to perform. So I was like, okay, uh, the week before we were supposed to go off, I got everybody to record them, and then I stitched them all together, and I made a movie out of it. And so you had all everyone's plays oh, go. Oh, that's so And fun. it was about 20 minutes, and then we had, like, during school, we had, like, a, a premiere, and people could come in, and then we were supposed to send it out to the rest of the community, but it was just never sent out. That's it. That's the story. The end. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so I did some direct, so I was never part of any, like, plays, because I had to direct them myself. <laughs> Look yeah. at all of us with our little theater moments. Yeah. So, our little theater background. Little third of us. We're all, we're all theater kids. Um, Audrey, where, where are you from? Uh, today, I am from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Love that for you. Yeah, because that's where I was born. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a little far. A little far from home. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, Just a, little, a little far. A plane ride. Just a... And a half. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little bit more than just a plane ride and a half. I think mean, you'd need one, two... How long is your plane ride? I don't know. <laughs> That's a great it's question. A plane ride and a half. How long is the original plane ride? <laughs> Anyways, should we spin the wheel? Point is, let's spin the wheel. Well, okay. Cadence, because you're far away from the wheel, I will spin the wheel for you. Sounds good. But you get to watch. Which is what we so do excited. every time. We tell them they get to spin it, and then we spin it. <laughs> and then we spin the laptops next to Audrey. <laughs> The unfortunate, the unfortunate wheel of unfortune. unfortune. <laughs> Up it goes. Woo. <laughs> what do we got? Oh. Dateline. The dateline <laughs> and why I don't like it. <laughs> do you know what the dateline is? So, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically... So that's a world map there, as you can assume. There's, yeah. <laughs> for context, there's a world map in this room. I'm going to stand up closer Wait, to there's it. there's a pin on the Yukon. Yeah. I found a white horse. What? Yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful place. I really like white horse. Did you like go everywhere? in the summer? I did go in the summer. That's why I like it. Yeah, that is why you like <laughs> that it. That is why I like white horse. <laughs> I considered going to the University of Yukon. Oh, my God, no. But then, like, all they offer was agricultural engineering. <laughs> Yeah, no, okay, they've been a college for forever, and they have one degree program now, and that's why they're considered a university. Yeah, and it's agricultural engineering. Yeah. Did it just get good in the Yukon or something? I'm confused. Like, was this summer, like, the only good summer? Or No, it's just only good in the summer. Oh. Because it's only good in the summer. Well, because it's... You guys made it sound like this summer was, like, the turning point. No. <laughs> and now the Yukon is lit. <laughs> no, the, I, I went to the Yukon... A long time ago. I really is that other one Skagway? 
Uh, no, the other one's Juno. Oh. In Alaska. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> you're from the U.S. You know, you're aware. You're aware. Yeah. You Alaska. <laughs> you're aware. You, you yeah, know. no, it's so weird to me because, like, when you live in Whitehorse or a lot of the communities in uh, Yukon, it's so normal to just be like, oh, yeah, like, weekend day trip to Alaska. Yeah. But it's like, I've said that a couple times here, and people are like, to Alaska? <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, I drive south down the highway and get to Alaska. Like, I don't... Yeah, that's <laughs> how you do it. People have no concept no. of where, like, Alaska is. I've learned that. Like, yeah. Even I struggle sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, it's literally connected to us. It's not connected to the states. It's connected to us. We are not Alaska. I we should say take we, Alaska. We should. That's take Alaska by saying. force. Yeah. You can go down that highway and you extend that border. True. <laughs> do you know what? Actually, I find it super interesting. When I had gone years and years ago... I learned that the, like, the border, co- like, the border services, like, the Canadian border services and the U.S. border services are, like, further inland to the, in the American border because of all the mountains. So yeah. So, technically, yeah. the border is much further inland oh. than it is on the maps. So, technically, we're slowly invading Alaska. Alaska will be ours, kids. <laughs> we nominate we're you as it. resident of Alaska. <laughs> Alaska's not even a part of Canada, it's just Cadences. It's mine. Cadence 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 Alaska. Cadence get, gets Alaska. It's and the, then... the theater country. Yeah. Woo! We'll do a bunch of, like, shows. Yeah. We'll do regular plays, radio plays, all the plays. All the plays. All, the plays. all kinds of plays. <laughs> so, the dateline. So, yes. basically, yes. Dateline. my issue with the dateline and time zones, this this is an interesting, I feel like we should group this with another one of the themes that is on here, which is the daylight savings and time zones. We can just group oh, it right now. Yeah, we'll just group time it right zone. now. Da- Are you mad about time zones? I'm mad about daylight savings. We don't do it in the we U.S. We don't do it either! <laughs> we all, pl- all of our friends this past few weeks have been like, they've been like, guys, the time change is coming up, like, and we're, we're like, we don't change. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I cannot believe that they have the audacity to change the clocks. It doesn't make any sense. That's what was it for? Farming, like, two million years ago? It like, was, I don't know. It's for farming, aviation, and the stock market. The stock market? To hell market? with the stock market, to hell with agriculture, and to hell with aviation. Like, Actually, no. maybe not to hell with aviation. I'm far or north enough, so... They're like, oh, well, it gives an extra hour of sun. Okay. I wake up. Where, where do they pull up this extra hour of sun? No, That's literally, there's like, it's dark until like 10 a.m. usually, and then the sun sets at 4. And I'm yeah. like, it's so dark. And then in the summertime, it's like, oh, well, it'll give you an extra hour of darkness. No, it won't. Where's the dark? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and I can see the sky. Like, there's the sun is still out. Yeah, we just... We don't do it. I know Saskatchewan doesn't do Saskatchewan it. Doesn't Manitoba do it. doesn't do it. Manitoba does not do it. What other problems? Ontario do does do it. Ontario does it. The territories don't do it. No. Quebec does, I think. Newfoundland and Labrador, I'm not sure if they do, but I have a separate issue with Newfoundland and Labrador <laughs> and their time zone because they have a 30 minute time zone. Yeah, it's so which is dumb. So, yeah. Mm. I don't. E- <laughs> I love Newfies, though. Like, I, I don't. love Newfies. So, like, I love them. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to. I was going to go there for school. I thought about I it. I thought you were about to I say I was going to be memorial? one for Halloween. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Great Josh. Little time away, though. No, they're. No, they're <gasps> are they. That's Labrador, they're right? Newfoundland, Gander's on Labrador, I think. Yeah. The island of Labrador. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> look at her. Too popular. popular. Yeah. No, it's not popularity. It's legit. The the, the updates for the Leafs game. <laughs> we just lost. <laughs> and also, um, University of University sent out a safety alert. Uh, oh. Should I be concerned? Um, I think they're just referencing parties from last night. Oh, it's. Oh just, my gosh! Did you see all the, the damage? Thing. The toilets. The toilets. Yeah, the toilets. <gasps> We're gonna put a pin in this daylight savings talk. The oh. toilets. Oh. oh my god. What yeah. on earth? I literally hadn't even seen it until my friend posted a video of it because it's in her building. <gasps> and it's like all three stalls are just I know. smashed. We saw a video of it on like our friend Holly had sent us a video of someone's story. And I like, we were like, oh my gosh. <sighs> it it's was so horrible. Insane. Yeah. And that's why. Um, Last night, one of the buildings, there were people who lived in it, and they were, like, breaking into fights 
outside of the door because they yeah. didn't want people coming in because yeah. they didn't we, want we, damage. We, we watched we, one. We, like, um, oh, hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. <laughs> Shout out to Bella, who Who's is in, in the, the room. room. <laughs> That's a reoccurring bit for us. <laughs> um, but basically, we were, like, we were outside of one of, like, the university houses, and we were, like, sitting there, and we were listening in on the conversation because, let me tell you, it was some juicy drama. Oh. Um, and then this girl was, like, she was literally, like, what? She, she was literally fighting these guys. She was, like, pushing, and she was, like, five. Four. Yeah, she was like, I'm 5'4", <laughs> I cannot be doing this. Yeah, she's like, like, she literally said this as a direct quote, she said, I'm 5'4", I'm 110 pounds, I cannot be doing this right now, and then she started pushing these guys out, and then her friend took her and she had a great night. Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> we keep getting off track. I'm yeah. so sorry. It's okay, it's okay, that's the point of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. That's the, that was the why we made it to begin with. Toilets were smashed, people were mad. Fireworks were set off. Firework- we, we, we almost got hit by <laughs> Fireworks. What? It wasn't like we like to exaggerate. It wasn't that close to us, but it, but it was close enough us, that we, we had to like into one too because there's no warning when no. people set off fireworks. They just no, go they off. just go. And so we were like turning in for the night. We're like, okay, we're going home. And then like we're walking, and then all of a sudden everybody's just backing up, and we're like, what's going on? And there's a firework going off, and then it hit the building. But the building was fine, and everyone was fine. Yeah. And then the cops just like did their little trail over. And the way the cops don't do there. anything. I know they just stood there, and I was I like, know. you guys didn't even like look for the no. culprit you just kind of you just have now surrounded the except spot. i did see one guy last night getting tased getting tased yeah oh my i saw gosh. the cop was like trying to push him around and the guy was like just fidgeting like this and then he was like you need to stop moving and the next thing i see is like the bright light of it and then the guy was on the ground wow yo i was like so i'm walking the other direction you know what else happened last night Tell these us. two girls walked up to me and my friend and they were like oh my god like is this what all university of university parties are like and then we were like do you not go here and they were like no we're in high school and i was like yeah i went oh that's cute you're in grade 12 and they went no we're in grade 10 and i was like Okay, we have to leave. We were like, Why are 10th graders here? No, we're in 10th grade, was, literally. We were standing around, and I was just sort of like, I was standing we were and talking to some friends, and then I heard this dude go, yeah, I'm 16, and like, I just wanted to come to this party. And then, like, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, there's a 16-year-old little child here. Yeah. Why is he here? Who let him in? Who, yeah. And then he climbs the signs. You know Wait, how people like that to climb the signs? that kid was 16? One of them was, and he climbed the signs. He wasn't the one that fell, though. Yeah, no, he was the, the guy other fall. one. That one, that one was scary. Yeah, yeah. Just last broke. night. Yeah. yeah. My gosh. And all the people climbing the street lamps, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, why what is that and about? And then they would climb them, and then they would turn off. And I'd be like, why are you climbing it? Stop. <laughs> we can't see. Sometimes it would spark, too. Yeah. I got a little nervous a couple yeah, times. Yeah, when they were sparking. Or when they would, the one guy, like, stood, like, all the way up, and he was, like, oh. going back and forth. Yeah. And like, he was going to fall. Yeah, he almost did. That was a scary, scary time. It was a wild at the university of university <laughs> yeah and then in my building some kids that don't live in this building we yeah. weren't in this building so thank thank the stars oh, yeah. but they put these wii remotes in the microwave <laughs> i heard about this in the microwave I, no okay because and then they just went bzz, <laughs> and then it went bzz, <laughs> and then boom no because when i was about to come over here i was asking my friend i was like do you know how to get to this building and she went no, isn't that the one that microwaved Wii remotes? <laughs> yeah, that is the building. So that's what you're known as now. The yeah! Is, the poor guy who owns the Wii didn't microwave his own remotes. <laughs> no! Some random kid who doesn't live here did. <laughs> Just came and took them? Just walked on in, <laughs> threw them in the microwave, and said, all right, 30 minutes and 30 seconds, here we go. And then the fire truck came, but it's okay because the fire truck was my B-reel. So, okay, <laughs> oh my god! School. Yeah, the yeah. Okay, the fire trucks were at my building last night because I was like, okay, yeah, that's yeah, right. We, we heard, heard from that. from from Magenta and Isaac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, just going to bed. Like my friends had just left. I was like, okay, bedtime. It's two forty-five. <laughs> Legit. Yeah. Fire alarm goes off, <laughs> like, no. and then we go outside, and everyone's standing like so angry. Like, <laughs> who pulled the damn alarm? And then this one guy is standing there, and he has a speaker, and he's playing party in the usa so we were like <laughs> hell yeah because <laughs> half the people are still drunk right yeah so then people start singing and then this one girl got so 
angry. And she was like, this is not a time to be joking around. You cannot be singing or playing music or partying right now. And she just started screaming at everyone. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then it was very awkward, and there was no more party in the USA. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they censored party in the USA. I know. That's so it's sad. almost a fun drill. Yeah. Was it, it, did someone just pull it? Do you know the story or no? I'm sure someone just pulled it. But only 60 people live in that building. So yeah. it's like, stuff like that doesn't usually like, happen. Like, we're not in a party building. No. no. Aren't you in a not. quiet building? It's not a quiet building, but it's, it's the next smallest to that quiet one. Building. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the smaller buildings. Yeah. 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 I feel like they're all small, except for the one. Except for the one. <laughs> the one that's the one me. that has. <laughs> Like hundreds of people in it. It's so when dystopian. I, I it hate the density. density. I know. It's terrifying. For the viewers at home, picture this: a giant building, like it's super gray tall, too, and it's gray. Yeah, and it's got like I want to say like fifteen to twenty windows, like per row, row on each yeah. side. That's a lot. And of there's people. different wings. Yeah, there's yeah. different wings. Like legit, my my residence has four windows per side. Like yeah. there's like four of us per hall, and that's it. And I don't understand how this building is cramming that many kids in there. No, in this giant building, too, there's, like, nine floors, isn't there? I know. Yeah. And yeah. the yeah. elevator is crazy. I don't the know how The elevator makes me it. so nauseous. Like, I've been in there, like, three times. No, I've been in there twice. It makes me so nauseous. No, I, hate I that also elevator. hate it. And there's, no, but what I do love about everyone living in there is that um, one of my best friends lives in that building. So when I go visit her, I never have to make her come down and open the door because there's always yeah. someone going in or coming yeah, out. So they just true. let you that's in. That's true. That's how Audrey gets into my building. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Audrey's like, I'm here. And so I go to like, go let her in and I open the elevator and she's there. And I'm like, how, how did you get you? here? Or I'll be sitting in my room in. doing my homework and Audrey will just walk in. <laughs> how did you get into the building? <laughs> today i walked in today i can't i just walked into your lounge yeah that's yeah true. this morning yeah this afternoon i just walked in i was like hey guys <laughs> oh, well, you just hi. exist here now yeah <laughs> go there all the time <laughs> i think it's really funny the dateline oh yeah the dateline so oh my gosh my issue with the dateline. <laughs> so there might be um, one topic this podcast yeah maybe just one topic instead of multiple i'm just too interesting no exactly <laughs> yeah it's just Perfect. so cool okay so i'm gonna get i'm gonna scream now so the okay. mic can pick it up but for the viewers at home, Audrey has crossed the room. <laughs> so, obviously this is a terrible map to show you because it doesn't split it in the right way where the Pacific is the main, like, event, because... What kind of map is this? This is a world map. World map. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was going to show you, like, a map of, like, Middle Earth or no, something. Like, and you had, like, the specific kind of map, you know? <laughs> like, you know, like, the different kinds where, like, Alaska's too big or something? No, this is the one where Alaska's too big. Look at how big Alaska is compared, and, like, Greenland's the size of Africa. This is not the right map. Okay. But it, it, it functions with the The map purpose. is incorrect. <laughs> Go ahead. So, basically, there's the dateline here, which is another time thing, which is another issue I had. But, so, you got the little datelines here. But as you can see, it goes it goes like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then it goes juts out to over here, and it does a little thing here with a little whoop, 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 whoop and then it comes back around here, and it keeps going down a little, little bit like that, and a little bit like that. And I think it looks like a pterodactyl, and it makes me angry, <laughs> because that's not how time zones and date lines are supposed to work. How, so are, how are they supposed to work if the one you're talking about is the dateline time zone? Because it's, well, it's the date line that separates the days. Okay. Right, but so it's like, it like default. V1? It's the line. So how is it wrong? Because it's not a line. It's oh, a pterodactyl. Okay. I get it now. I was just a little <laughs> it's confused. A squiggle. I was like, is there another one we're supposed to be using? No, just make it go, you make it straight. Because that's, you know, right, like, or at least like maybe a little curve because of the, the yeah, tilt of the like, earth. What if it like went through like someone's like a town? Yeah. And, like, this one town, it's, like, 8.30, and, like, if you, like, cross, like, a sidewalk, it's now, like... It's nine. suddenly you the know, next day. Yeah. That, <laughs> that sometimes happens. Like, that's very... That, that happens. Which is why the dateline goes like that, like, looks like a pterodactyl over Kiribati, was to avoid there being two separate days in one country. Okay. But, like, with Kiribati, they're all, like, one day, but they're multiple time zones, which is yes. weird to begin with, honestly. Like, What? China is one whole time zone. Yes. And as you can imagine, China's a pretty big place. Why is it just one time zone? Because the president, prime minister, the, the leader of China, <laughs> kind of scares me. And I feel like he gets what he wants. <laughs> he does get what he wants, but I don't understand why it has to be one time zone. 
Well, uh, next thing um, is the Newfoundland and Labrador. I think it's Labrador. Whichever one's the island, I think it's Labrador. I don't know. I'm gonna guess lav- la- lavender. Lavender because <laughs> lavender. it's Newfoundland and yeah. And you know, like it's like, for example, and Gander's on Labrador, right? It's like the Vancouver musical. and the musical. We all know. We all know the musical. We'll the musical. We'll back back check. We'll yeah, back let's do a little quick back check. But Labrador is its own separate 30-minute time zone because they got lazy and wanted to go home early. So they signed a piece of paper 30 minutes before they were supposed to. And so now that their own pocket dimension time zone, that's only 30 minutes after a time zone. So it's like there's like a 30-minute time zone in a time zone. That would be so hard if you had like family members there. Yeah. If they're like, yeah, call it 1.30. And you're like, okay, beep. (laughs) They're like, oh, no, I got to... Do the hours and yeah. then the half hour. Yeah, I, so it's confusing, ridiculous. And then here's my issue with daylight savings. I don't even know how to fact check. Google told me nothing. <laughs> We're gonna say Ganders on wherever. It's in Newfoundland. Okay, it's in Labrador. It's there. It's, there. it's in Labrador. <laughs> Labrador. Labrador is the one. We'll just pretend. If it's not, it's a part of Canada. Okay, it's relevant. <laughs> Go listen to Come From Away. Yeah, <laughs> just, just deal with Come From Away, and then they'll tell you. Uh, wait. Uh, daylight savings time zones. Yes, I think it is. Actually, I think it's Newfoundland. I think Newfoundland's the island. I think we were wrong. I'm pretty sure Newfoundland is the island. I think Newfoundland when I was is looking the island. at a map, it told me that Gander's on Newfoundland, and then I was looking at the map, and it said that Newfoundland was the island, and I was like, okay. So I think Newfoundland's the island. I was wrong. Ignore everything I just said. Actually, don't. But point is, here's my thing with daylight savings. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. Daylight savings makes, A, zero sense. I don't like the fact that they're messing with time. You mess with time enough with the time zones and the date line, don't alter it more. Okay? That causes issues that we can't repair. Next thing, not everybody does it. If every if everybody participated in daylight savings, I would be less against it. But only Canada, parts, not even all of Canada, a few parts of Canada, a few parts of the United States, and a few parts of Europe do it, and that's about it. It Why? just seems outdated. Yeah. And it's mean. Outdated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a f- unintended fun right there. <laughs> yeah, and it's mean. Also, I want to bring to the case that I think daylight savings is sexist. Why? Because on... <laughs> yeah, elaborate there. Elaborate. I, mean, yeah. I want to get behind this, but I need a little more information because I can't draw the dots alone. <laughs> so, back in 2020, okay. on March 8th, which is International Women's Day, oh, yeah. daylight savings, because they did a leap forward, caused <gasps> International Women's Day to be an hour shorter. No way yes way how <laughs> hence, <dare they? laughs> hence That's daylight though. savings being sexist i'm gonna bring this up in my feminism class yeah yeah, yeah. right this is this is this is this, this is, is this modern feminism yeah this is modern <laughs> feminism talking i expect her to run, run the way yeah, she was like i cannot walk, walk it, it. <laughs> yeah we made a reference to that song last episode too we did <laughs> we did <laughs> really like that song i must not get it no. no. <laughs> I'm right cooler. Right I'm right the coolest it. guest. Yeah, you are. <laughs> are the coolest guest. Sorry, Emerson. I had another point about daylight saving. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here is what I propose. Mm-hmm. We cancel time. Oh, yeah. Time, time I behind doesn't that. doesn't need to exist anyways. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Who cares? So if we have no time, there's no daylight savings because we don't need to switch anything because yeah. time isn't real because we're not real. <laughs> Nothing's real. Nothing's real. We're fragments of your imagination. So true, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to the first episode. <laughs> Where we were not real. Because University of University, we don't exist. No, no, no. Don't sue us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we were not affiliated with any events from last night that we talked about <laughs> earlier in the podcast. We were just witnesses. <laughs> we didn't do anything. We were just there. We were passing by. We built a Kit Kat. House. We you did know gingerbread house. Oh, I saw. Yeah, yeah. we built yeah. the Kit Kat one. We built the so house cute. out of Kit Kats. Shout out to our friend Al who bought it. <laughs> yeah, shout out to her. <laughs> Let us help her. <laughs> yeah, and we, we made it a Taylor ta- a what a Taylor Swift house. We put yeah. TS on the side of the house. I love Taylor Swift house. Scream lyrics to Taylor Swift. Okay, yeah. Um, past quiet hours. Okay, tell me your fave oh song gosh. from Midnight. Vigilante. Beep. Really? Your own yeah. Kid. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That one. Like Loki in the same <laughs> That one Loki and then Great War. That's a good oh, one. Yeah, I, I really War. like uh, Labyrinth too. Yeah, yeah. Like Labyrinth one. has like folklore vibes, which I yeah, very much I love. love. Folklore is my favorite yeah, me album. <laughs> folklore is my up. favorite album too. Followed closely by Evermore. I love Evermore because Evermore is good. Nobody, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sounds very you. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my gosh, that was such a good album. It's definitely, I think it's not my favorite album. Um, no. Midnight? Uh, Midnight's is not yeah, my favorite album. Yeah, no, me one. neither. I'm going to put it at the bottom, on like, not shamelessly, because also I haven't listened to it enough, you know? Yeah. It's like the, my Make favorite. Make it to the top. Under every Taylor album? Yes. It's the bottom. Except for, except for the non, like, Taylor's version ones. Like, yeah. the OG Taylor ones, like, you got to put those last because, like, you're not supposed to listen to yeah. them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but then... The rest of my I, I put Midnight to the bottom. Still love still love Queen Taylor. Still yeah, love her. We love but Taylor Swift. I need to we are to it more, Swifties. And then it can jump up a couple places. Yeah. You know? Not yeah. for sure. I think Midnight's is definitely not my favorite album, but Vigilante sh- has now become my favorite Taylor Swift song. Really? Yeah, I think um, so. <laughs> she listened to so. the first like thirty seconds and went, This is my favorite song now. This is it. <laughs> this it has is not it. changed. This is it. It hasn't changed. It, it is yet to change. When she was releasing all the like the tracks and doing the Midnight's Mayhem with B, when she yeah. said that second track, like the Vigilante sh- Beep. I was like, That's my favorite song. I can tell I can feel it. Wow. That's gonna be my favorite one. And it is It is and a girl boss it. song. It's it a, is. a girl and boss. Audrey just had a villain era, so Yeah, I just oh. exited my villain era. So <laughs> and I, where was that when I was having my villain era? That, that's <laughs> that's on the wheel. We'll get to that some other time. What era are, have we got to now? I think we're not. I think we crisis. The crisis era. Crisis era. <laughs> the academic. Uh, no, the identity the crisis era. <laughs> Audrey doesn't know where she's from. <laughs> That's a bit that we're going on. Okay. <laughs> it's an issue. It's a, it's a personal issue too. We're working that's, on it. That's on the wheel though. It's on the wheel. Later. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll discuss it another time. Any other fun? Halloween story since the Halloween special? Yeah, it's the Halloween special. Any fun, like, Any childhood cool? Halloween memories? Mm. Anybody got anything? I just remember wearing I a... I, I didn't have to do it this year, first of all, because I'm no longer a child, <laughs> and second of all, because I don't live where I lived before, but I didn't have to wear a massive winter coat. Oh, oh my god, god, yeah. That's true, like, that's I did true. Was no. I was a princess with my winter coat when I was a kid. Yeah, no, that is the, like, you grew up in a cold place, Halloween. Saskatchewan. Yeah. No, I remember being in my snowsuit and my mom just like shoving my yeah. things over top. And I'm like, Mom, nobody knows what I am if it's <laughs> under my coat. And she's like, No, we'll fit it. It'll fit. It'll fit over top. And it's like, they never, their parents never thought to buy costumes that were a little too big. Too big. <laughs> to go over the coat. My parents always held out hope that it wouldn't be too cold before Halloween. They even did that this year. I was on the phone with my mom and she's like, I really thought we were going to get through without snow before Halloween, but no. it just snowed, and this was literally a week ago, and I was like, Mom, why? No. <laughs> but if you, frozen. if I ever have my kids in a place where they have to do that, I'm buying you them costumes that are a little too big, they fit yeah. over nicely. I saw yesterday at, at, oh, yeah, on the streets. Oh, yeah, we had a little fun costume. I saw, on the streets. On the streets. Um, Aubrey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw, there's this girl, she was dressed as the Michelin Man. And oh, I thought my that was God. Yeah. She had the big poof jacket. Really? And the snow pants. She looked so good. And she was absolutely killing it, and I think that's a great she winter costume. She was so because, excited when you recognized yeah, her. Yeah, I was like, uh, are you the Michelin Man? And she was like, oh, she, my, oh gosh, my gosh, someone knows who the Michelin Man is. And I was like, yeah, this is the best costume I've seen so far. I also, this was a personal favorite from this year. I saw someone dressed as Ash from um, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Really? And it was done so well. Like, it was so good, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I love your costume. It was so fun seeing everybody's costumes. That's yeah. That's my favorite part. No, I think my two favorite ones I saw were I saw a Barnacle Boy. Yeah, oh, that was really one. good. And then I saw this guy dressed as Howl from like Howl's Moving Castle. That's a great one. But That's he was carrying so around like a turnip head that he had made. Oh my god! And it was so good. Oh my That's god! Awesome. That's I know. dedication. I know. My friend and I are obsessed with that movie, and we Such tried to movie. stop him and be like, "Oh my god, you're Howl! Like you're so good!" And he just went, "Okay," and then kept walking. <laughs> oh. And we we're like, "Oh no." <laughs> Well, those are the good costumes. The bad costumes. Yeah, we had a, we had a fun some... time yesterday pointing out red flag costumes <laughs> and green flag costumes. Oh my god, I want to hear the list. Okay, the red flag costumes, straight up to number one, most red flag, the Hugh Hefner guys. Okay, yeah, the guys that dress up as Hugh Hefner. When guys do it, it's gross. Bad, when, when girls, girls do it. When you get the guys to be the bunnies. So hot. That's so, so good. funny. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> it's so funny. We saw a couple last night and we were like, yes, but then we saw a couple Hugh Hefner guys and we were like, no, uh, no. Also, like this dude dressed as a breathalyzer. Um, oh my but, god! But like the breathalyzer part was not in a fun was spot. on their groin. Oh, so we were like, that's just gross. Yeah, that and was then really. We were like, please leave us alone. Yeah. <laughs> there was a guy dressed as Indiana Jones, and I thought that was kind of cool. That was a good one. That was he, a good one. He was hanging out with breathalyzer. Yeah, he was hanging out with breathalyzer. <laughs> so we talked to Indiana Jones, but we also had to talk to breathalyzer too. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
What are their good costumes? There's a lot of pirates this year. Yeah. I dress as a pirate, so I'm not there one to... There were lots of pirates, but the pirates was great. Dunk on yeah. the pirates. And the fairies. The fairies was fairies very was popular, popular too. Yeah. It, was, it was well done. It always yeah. was. Nice. There was this one girl that had light-up fairy wings. Really? And that was really cool. I quite oh liked that costume. She looked really good. There were so... Oh, there was Juno. The, the two main characters from Juno. Yeah. The people, like, really actively dressed as them. Those were cool, too. Oh, my God. I'm trying to think. Like, there were so many good ones and so yeah. many bad ones. I, um, s- I saw this girl walking around, and um, I just, like, stopped her, and I was like you're Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror. Oh and she started, gosh. like, screaming because she was like, someone finally got it! And she oh. had, like, the fake tattoos, oh, like, even awesome. on her. Yeah, it was so oh, good. Oh, that's so There's, good. There, I love it when, like, you recognize, like, those, like, a little more niche costumes. Yeah. And, it's, yeah. Like, yeah. and they get so excited. Yeah, because a lot of people don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, there was the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah! I was just oh, gonna I bring saw that the up. Phantom of the Opera! Yeah, I was that like, guy, oh my gosh. Oh my god, no, because I saw him, and that's, like, my favorite show ever. It's what got me into theater. Yeah. So I, like, saw him, and I was like, you're Phantom. And he was like, yeah, and my girlfriend's Christine. <gasps> and I was oh, like, oh my, my god. god. We did not. We only saw the Phantom. I also only I saw him, go. but I wanted oh to see the two of them together so that bad. So nice. That is, like, dream couples costume. Oh, that's, that's so, cute. so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> there were a lot of cops, too. A lot of people dressed as cops. I know. Sometimes yeah. I couldn't tell I, who I thought was, was a real of, of and who was not. Yeah. If you, yeah. They thought they were so clever. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, There's prisoners, too, as well. There were a lot yeah. of prisoners. Prisoners lost a squad. Yeah. There was, there was a whole, like, clump of squad. Yeah, they're all from White Horse. Oh, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. There is a giant clump of White Horse people. Oh. And you were the first person um, and the only person from White Horse I well, met. So I'm, met the I'm the coolest one. <laughs> yeah, you are. So. Yeah, you won. Yeah. Well, I didn't You're go on a podcast. Swap, so <laughs> true. <laughs> um, fun fact for the listeners at home because we didn't actually introduce Cadence with anything like we introduced a fun fact ever. So this is a fun fact. Um, Cadence is the first and I think the only person to have walked in a room with yeah. our friend group in it and decided to stay. <laughs> Most people hear us screaming and turn around. We actually, Wait, one, girl, that's so funny. one girl walked in on us the same night, I think. Yeah, the same and night. Like, at least 15 in. minutes before you came in. Yeah. She opened the door and she went, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then she left. And then you came in and you're like, can I join? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> I literally just stayed because I saw on the screen it said I dreamed a dream and I yeah. went mm, these are my people <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you presented a PowerPoint yeah on the I think it was the top 10 things to do in the apocalypse it was, it was one of yeah. mine it was one of mine Audrey made a PowerPoint Cadence presented it it was a beautiful moment and the blossoming of a new friendship <laughs> exactly. that's the story that's that's how and that's how we met Cadence yeah <laughs> yeah now now we gotta put the the theme song for how I met your mother that's how we met uh, Cadence. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll get copyright for the real thing. So. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty accurate. So. Yeah, that was, that was, that was <laughs> spot on. Sense, take a <laughs> Any final thoughts, Cadence, that you want to throw out there? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. What? Do you have a favorite musical? Well, all time is Phantom. Of course. But my, like, right now fave? Mm-hmm. Probably Thoroughly Modern Millie. Oh, I love I that one. I haven't that one yet. That one sounds really good. I good. love it. I saw it on the island, I think, actually, a couple years oh. ago. But it's really fun. It's Sutton Foster, my oh. fave. We love, we but love. But yeah, that's my favorite. That's a good <laughs> You're favorite. really getting the nerd out of me. That's, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we are? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come out very much here. <laughs> What's your favorite musical, Kate? Do you have a favorite musical? Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen, that's um, a good favorite one. Very popular favorite. Have you seen I it? I saw it in Broadway. Really? It was so good on Broadway, I guess, not in Broadway. In New York City <laughs> is what see, I meant to see. Did you see Andrew? Yes, I did see Andrew. He's so cute. He was so good. Oh my I know. gosh, I literally loved it. And I would see it's obvious it's closed on Broadway now, like yeah, in New yeah. York, which is really sad. But that just means it'll be a thing people can do now. Yeah, um, it'll go on to MTI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But like, it was so good, and I cried. And really, I was, it was a beautiful time because I wanted to see it for years. Yeah, and then we were gonna go, and then COVID came, so we couldn't go. And then mm-hmm. we finally went last year. Oh, that's so loved amazing. It. I saw Company. Company was really oh, good. Company's oh my god, so I would fun. die for that. Movie. I, I love saw Company. Company front row. It was so <gasps> cool. Oh. It was, oh, I love New York. Company Anyways. is so fun. Audrey, favorite my musical? My favorite musical is Alice by Heart. Yes. I, I love Alice. One. Yeah, you did know this one. We were going to watch the really... pirated version. <laughs> yeah, we were going we to watch the bootleg. So what was it The slime tutorial? Yeah, 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 yeah. the slime tutorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the slime tutorials. Yeah, yeah. All the musicals know about the slime tutorials. The Alice by Heart slime tutorial is what we were going to watch. 
So we'll, we'll get around to that. If you want, Kate, we'll invite you to I would Alice love by Heart that. slime tutorial moment. We'll watch the slime <laughs> tutorial together. But I love Alice by Heart so much. With my whole heart. By heart. <laughs> and I know some of the songs by heart. Of course. <laughs> should we uh, Should we get our next guest spun? Yeah. Cadence, now you get to actually spin. Yeah, because this woo! is a mobile. Mobile put, spinner. A mobile spinner. Oh. All right. We got the wheel up. We got a wheel of some names. All right, you gotta pick the, the middle. Oh, there the middle. you go. All right, it's Thought spinning. I could spin it. it's spinning. Like there a regular spinning. spinner. It's spinning. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. L is our next guest. Yeah. L, you already have been contacted. Yeah, you've been contacted. Um, yeah. L, if you were listening intensely on this episode, you would know that Yeah. L was the person that had built the house with us last night. Yeah. The Kit Kat house. She did. So maybe <laughs> we'll bring that up. Bring that up. Bring that up. We can talk about it in further detail. <laughs> in further detail. <laughs> the, how we got our construction permit, uh, where we got our supplies, what kind of cement we use. What happens when uh, rain hits and the chocolate melts, because <laughs> we use Kit Kat. What? There was this, this is a very niche cultural reference. There was this one film. I can't remember what the film was. But this guy builds this Taj Mahal out of chocolate, and then it I, melts. I know what you're talking about, but I and don't know And then he drowns in his chocolate Taj Mahal. Do you know where it's from? I don't know where it's from. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> I know where it's from. I know what you're talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. Do you know what we're talking about? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Back check. Back check. Do a little little Google search. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, that's what that's from? Uh, I feel like I could have guessed. <laughs> a classic film. A classic <laughs> film. Well, Cadence. Thank you. so wonderful to have you. Guys. Round of applause for Cadence. <laughs> Well, Cadence, thank you so much. Thanks Cadence. again. And for the folks at home, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. We'll see you later.